She's going. They're saying 304. I mean, I feel like it could be faster, but that's still... It looks faster. Doesn't I mean, it, it look just, faster? Yeah. She just looks so resilient out there, and, and given the struggles that she had earlier in the race, for her to show that kind of resilience this late into the marathon is just telling of the kind of true champion, and I mean that in the, the figurative sense. Sure. Um, you know, she has just battled and battled and battled all day, never gave up, and, and so full full credit to her for keeping her head in the game, keeping her heart in the game, uh, when otherwise she might have wanted to, to give up. That's that's the she in a lot of people in her shoes would have given up. And that's what I, I really just commend for this as this athlete is to, to to not have that could have been an easy excuse. Just phone it in and say, you know what, I I got penalty and then a mechanical. But guess what? We are close. So close. So close. The crowds are getting bigger and bigger as she runs down the streets of this Victoria here on her way to the finish line. And guess what? Uh, the. The lead bike is doing its thing again. Get that crowd ramped up and amped up uh, to get the noise levels to full full volume. But she's taking that right turn. Remember, she moves over gradually ever right and right before she finally positions herself on the, the last step of concrete before jumping on the red carpet. And then it is time to come home. <laughs> the uh, the champion of this race, a five-time Ironman winner, about to be under the El Scati, uh banner there, proud to say Basque Country. She'll be soon uh, a five-time Ironman champ. Five-time Ironman champ, and that's you know that's that's getting to be some rare air. You don't have a lot of uh, five-time Ironman champs, and, and every one you win, I think, gets more and more special because they're not easy to come by. Absolutely not, and they're certainly not easy to come by five times. So credit to, to Heather Jackson for taking a chance coming over to Europe to race a new experience, tackling something difficult like the travel and the time zone change, uh, and, and just capitalizing on the opportunity, and what a day it's been for her. Yeah, I, I, if I had to make a bet, I, I wouldn't be hard pressed to wager she'll be back here next year it's one of those things that especially if she has a good little vacay in the next four days uh because spain has a way of growing on you and and these people very welcoming an amazing amazing country and and just some of the best experiences and there's so much if you ever left the basque country so much to enjoy across the course of the entire iberian peninsula but look at this absolutely Here's, well i think yeah. after after watching this the secret is out about this race i think you know they have been uh, all day here uh in victoria they have been showing off uh showing off weather wise uh perfect conditions on the day the crowd support uh i think this this uh this race is going to end up on a lot of people's radars there you go and she's under just a couple Couple more arches here uh, before you know she had that final right uh, U-turn, I should say, and now she's looking at that lead bike. He's gonna go away, give her a high five and a fist bump. And the glasses and go up on top of the head, and you know it's time. The high fives start coming. A thumbs up from a from an age group competitor there, and uh, here she goes onto the red carpet uh, again. The teeth nice and polished up uh, for the occasion. Big smile for Heather Jackson. Few have a better smile, to be honest, than this young lady, Heather Jackson, the 2019 Ironman Victoria Gaste champion today wow look at that I always love the expression on Heather Jackson's face. She always looks genuinely surprised when she wins one of these things. She she really seems almost incredulous. And you look at, at the talent that she's got in that little pint-sized body. And, and to us, it, it seems no surprise. But I just love how genuinely surprised she seems every time she grabs a tape. I agree. I think she has a. I think she has an actual humility, an actual modesty that's that a, a lot of pros feel like they have to put out there. They 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 counteract it with the with the brash confidence some people have. They, they try to say that, but I think she truly does. I think she's truly humble enough to sort of be like, whoa, I, did I, I really just do I, that? You, you can hear the giggle when she holds the tape up. She's like, oh my goodness, that, that actually just happened. Like, she actually doesn't believe it. Yeah, and then you get her on an interview and she'll giggle right away through it. Yeah. That same sort of uh, <laughs> joy for it. But it, it really is nice because she's clearly, you, you don't get through without a true belief and confidence in yourself. You don't do these exceptional five-time wins, 11 Ironman 70.3 victories without the true grit and the true belief in yourself. But it is, Didi, you hit the nail on the head there. As we watch her celebrate, we'll get an interview later. Uh, meanwhile, we're just going to let her there's soak the, it up. There's the hug. 
That's the best finish line hug in the world coming from, from the spouse, the supporter, the village uh, that supports these athletes. And, and they The Jackson, a brilliant win for Ironman Victoria Gasteis. Those first feelings on the finish line. Oh my God, incredible! Like I've never been at a race like this before. It's absolutely incredible. Wow, I don't, I can't really hear right now. <laughs> I know how you feel. Listen, we know you're a good hockey player. We know you. Brilliant in, on the track on a bike. You're an amazing triathlete, but is basketball next? <laughs> oh, from getting the... <laughs> At 40K an hour, boom. I think rennie has got basketball covered, but I, I needed the hockey out there. The crowds that just, I mean, it was so crazy. Incredible, incredible. <laughs> well, you know, when, when Enerco came down the finish line, the crowds were so loud it drowned out the music. They did the same for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was, I mean, the fans out there, and I'm not from here, Eniko and Ruthie are hometown heroes. I saw so many signs that there was so awesome for them. Um, but, yeah, just they showed the same amount of respect and, and just cheering and support out there. It was just, uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about how amazing that race was just now. So I'm really hoping, I mean, it's been a very long time since you've been in Europe. You're going to be back a bit more often. Oh, yeah, for sure. This was kind of um, like a low-key test for me. I, I already had my slot for Kona, so I figured, okay, I'm going to test it out, like test out dealing with jet lag and travel, and uh, yeah, it just, I'll be back for sure. <laughs>